Hello every Nyan, and welcome to another Nenroid review for Nenroid number 1908, Natasha Nianas. Today we finally have the Lolly Cat Girl VTuber herself, which actually I guess there's probably a few of them now, but what definitely one of the originals, and that is Nianas. Uh, chances are if you've been around the internet for about 10, 15 years, you probably have seen her content even before she became a VTuber. She did do lots of YouTube shit posts, basically. Um, so she finally is incarnated in physical form uh, via an android, which is not really something I've expected to see, but I'm thoroughly glad to see. So we'll take a look at the box and then I'll open it up and, uh, as usual, take a look at the figure. So at the top, we've got a slightly awkward thing here because that says V Shoujo. Um, Nyanas is no longer with V Shoujo, but. You know, at the time of this production and release, she still was. Uh, she is 1908, uh, which is a significant year, both for the year that World War One ended and uh, the fact that she now has an android. Uh, and I think that was established in that year. So on the side, we've got a few of her different poses and stuff. We've got her with her microphone. Uh, she's well known for her karaoke streams. Her with a sword cane, because she is cool and sword canes are cool. Uh, we've got all of the uh, these poses, I think we'll see. Actually, we don't see that on the side. That is her with Goro, her ghost cat uh, space entity, if you've seen the origin video. Uh, and then we've got her sort of holding Goro and her doing a kind of nya pose, I guess. I don't know. Uh, just kind of like holding up a thumbs up and, and this peace sign. And her holding Goro. And the bottom is her holding Goro. And the top is a sword cane, I believe. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, right, I'm going to go open this up and then we'll take a look at what's inside. Alright, I'm back and I've taken everything out of the box. So it is time to take a look at the Nendroid and all of her accessories. So Nyanas comes with the standard Nendroid base, as all the others do. However, the way it pegs in, due to like how big her hair is and stuff, is a little bit weird. It does kind of like angle up, if you can see there. Which does kind of limit the poses a little bit, but I mean, it's understandable. She's got a large amount of hair. It's kind of what you've got to work with. So we'll take a look at the Nendroid uh, and then go on to the accessories. So we'll start from the bottom. She does have her two very cute cat tights, uh, along with those very cute cat boots. I say cat boots, I think they're just boots with the ribbons. And then we move up to her oversized hoodie, which is very cute, with the uh, little pom-poms there, and her hands are the kind of open standard thing. I haven't changed any parts out yet. I'll be doing that for the photo montage later though. And then underneath her hoodie we've got a peak of the Goro like vest t-shirt thing that she's wearing that is very cute. And then up to her hair, which is honestly some of the most detailed hair I've seen on an android. I am very impressed. I'll uh, rotate her around as well. There's like a lot going on. Even the like um, bottom strands and stuff are separate. I'm very impressed with this. And then moving on up to her fluffy cat ears and her Goro ribbon. Both of them are very cute. And her little kind of cowlick, cat cowlick. I don't know what that would be called. Yeah, that is a quick look at her. Obviously, I'll be taking photos uh, more in depth to have more of a detailed look at her. And then over to Goro. So, I'm very pleased that they actually made a 3D rendering of him and he wasn't just some kind of like acrylic kind of thing you put on. So, he comes with the miniature uh, Nendroid stand and he also has his own like stand arm things you insert it into his butt under there. And there he is. He's a pretty simple dude, but uh, I, I like him. I like his mysterious eye patch. And then onto the face plates. So that is the like happy one. And you've also got the smug one. And the heart eyes kind of uh, in love uh, one as well. And then over to her arms. So she's got a right and left kind of um, closed arm. Uh, they're kind of like fists or whatever. But yeah, very cute. Uh, and then she's got hands. So she's got a peace sign hand there. And she has a gripping hand here. So this will be used either for the microphone or the sword cane, I believe. And then she also comes with a leg. Um, 
I don't fully know the use of this yet. Maybe it's to kind of like position it behind her so she can hold the sword cane in a menacing way. I don't know. I'll be experimenting when I do the photo montage. And last but not least, we have the very cool sword cane, which my finger's kind of covering up there. So I assume that part um, plugs into her hand. And we have the microphone, which is very cute uh, and very small. So right, I'm going to go ahead now and experiment with all of these different options and stuff and take some photos uh, and show you in a montage. So here we go. Alright, I am back. So, I've taken some photos, as you've seen, uh, and, you know, tried out the different configurations, and honestly, I was very impressed with the amount of, like, the range that you can get Nyanas to do with the uh, three faceplates. So, there isn't potentially as many options as other Nendroids, you know, in terms of extra pieces or extra hands and stuff like that. But that's not really the point of Nyana's, you know, the, the focus is on doing the things that she does well, which is singing, threatening you with a sword cane, being smug, and generally just being cute, and she hits all of those. Um, I mean, I could have maybe messed about with things like the, the heart eyes with the sword cane, or the smug with the, you know, microphone, but that doesn't really work. But every shot I got, I think, uh, you know, really represents exactly what we can get to do with that. I was um, very impressed, actually, that this leg was very easy, uh, the like, bent leg was very easy to put in. Those of you curious, uh, this is actually just a kind of placeholder thing um, to make sure no dust goes in the open ball joint kind of part of the other leg. Um, but yeah, honestly, she was a really easy Nendroid to chop and change the parts of as well. I've had previous Nendroids are really finicky for some reason, but yeah, uh, she just goes together as, as you know, smoothly as any other Nendroid I've had. Uh, I think she got a really nice range of poses as well, nothing too crazy, but um, I settled on this one. I was not expecting to do that. I actually wanted her displayed with the sword cane, but after seeing this, I was like, no, this is perfect. This is like the ideal look, I think. Uh, and I love having Goro as well, just like chilling in the background. I do love little buddies like that. Yeah, honestly, I'm very impressed. The detailing on the Annas is great. I don't think I mentioned this at the start, but I don't know if you can really see on camera. But she's got a zip on her hoodie, and that's metallic, and that is great. Um, for those of you curious about her panty colour, I am not a degenerate, so I won't be telling you they're white. But yeah, um, overall, I am very impressed with this Nendroid. Happy to add her to the collection. Uh, I'm slowly building a VTuber Nendroid shelf, and she will go right along with the others. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have... Well, I was going to say V Shoujo, but that's not the case anymore, really. Uh, if you have other VTuber Nendroids or whatever, I do have a few more that I'm going to be reviewing, and a few non-VTuber Nendroids as well, along with statues and stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll leave a playlist for my previous Nendroid reviews there, and I'll leave YouTube choose something there. I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching this review. So until next time, sayonara!